Now, another thing a lot of people ask me is, you know, when you think about transitions, you can apply some of the stuff to actual songs within a record and vice versa. So here's like a cool little production technique that a lot of people can use to go from one song into another so there's no space in between the songs and they don't have just a simple fade out. Um, here at the end of this song, you can hear the, the song kind of breaks, breaks itself down here, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool outro. But if we were doing a whole record and we wanted to try something a little bit more crazy, we could do this kind of production technique, uh, which you could use to, to bridge the gap between two songs. And you could take a part from the, the song that's next, or you could take the previous one, or you could take this one. What I'm going to do is just take this little drum beat we've got going here, which is a pretty cool little old school drum loop that I've got some pretty funky compression on right now. So we got that little funky drum beat going, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this to another part of the song where things kind of start breaking down. Okay, so I'm going to place it right here where everything else breaks down. Cool. Now. What I want to do is, we're going to go back to the it's part of it, and the first thing I'm going to do is take off this fade that I have on my master fader, just for the time being, so we can let this ride out a little bit. And uh, I'll go back to that, uh, just, just so we have a demonstration of something to work with. I'll take the it's part again here. So, here we have this little word, it's, and I'm just going to solo this up here. It's. And I'll go ahead and just bounce that to whatever my desktop is fine. And I think I'm at 44, 24-bit. Honestly, it doesn't really even matter for this demonstration. We're going to go it's with a Z, and I'll put that on my desktop here. So now we have a little snippet of the word it's. And going back to this drum part that we put at the end, we're going to put uh, an Altiverb 7 plugin on it. And you might be saying, well, what are we doing with a reverb? We're going to use it as a production tool here. So I'm just going to solo this up for now and put the Altiverb 7 here in stereo. And um, if you don't know, this is basically a reverb plugin that takes impulse responses of different spaces and gear and stuff like that and um, allows you to basically send your audio through them so it's supposed to sound like a representation of that space or that piece of gear. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click on IR import, and um, then I'm just going to grab the its WAV file from my desktop and drag it directly in here. So once that's imported there, uh, we have the little its part here, and right now my, my mix is at 100%. I'm going to turn that down to zero. So in theory, we're not changing anything yet, but then I'm going to turn, turn my automation on and automate the dry wet mix parameter. So what you've got going on here at the end is uh, I'm going to let this drum beat ride out a little bit and about mm, say right here that's where we're going to have this effect take over so I go under Altiverb and I go under the wet dry mix you can see it's down all the way so we're going to make this mix 100% at this section and then we're going to transition it down from this section right here. So it's slowly going to ramp up as the song's fading out and you're going to hear the effect come in like this. Now, what you can do with this is if you have a song that, um, you know, you can take the, if you have a song that the song title is, is one word, you can take that one word and put that in there and then actually time compress and expand this part to match the tempo with whatever song 
is after this. And then you have a seamless transition and it seems like the song just keeps on going almost. So it's a cool transition effect and you don't have to just use this for songs. You can also use it within the song itself. Um, you know, it's also a great technique to use if you're uh, trying to submit a demo to a label. Um, you know, a lot of labels, whenever they're listening to the songs, sometimes you don't even need to play the entire song. Sometimes you just want to give them little snippets of things. Uh, sometimes you want to put your best material a little bit later. Don't put your first song first sometimes so that you've got somewhere to grow from. And if you're doing transitions like this, especially if you're only doing snippets of your track, it kind of leaves people wanting more. So it's a good effect you can use. And there's other ways that you can implement this. Um, you can put drums on top of vocals and things like that. So again, experiment and try things differently to come up with something that's unique to your flavor. And if you try it and it doesn't work, then just get rid of it. No harm, no foul. But I encourage you to be proactive and try these things and come up with something unique to yourself.